How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Anza Borrego. Yes, it's been a while since I've been out exploring. It's been a while since we posted one of these videos and to finally come out here, have the rig fully ready to go and explore and check out such a beautiful place like Anza Borrego. Man, I'm absolutely excited to bring you guys along. This is a place that I've been wanting to check out for a long time. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. I've seen people posting pictures all over the web. And to finally experience it myself, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be checking out the mud caves. We're gonna be driving through the slaw canyons. And then you already know, we're gonna get going. We're gonna cook some good food, have some good drinks. And I just really hope you guys have a great time with us. Let's get into it. Anza Borrego is located within the Colorado desert of Southern California in the United States. The park was giving its name after a Spanish explorer by the name of Juan Bautista de Anza and Borrego. Borrego in Spanish means sheep. Anza Borrego is known for being one of the biggest state parks here in Southern California. It's over 585,000 acres and it reaches all the way from San Diego County to the Imperial and Riverside counties. As I drive through Anza Borrego, this is by far one of the most beautiful places that I've ever visited. It reminds me of Indiana Jones just because of the crazy tall looking landscapes, all the caves that you do see while driving around. Not only that, but you also get to see the beautiful wildflowers, cactuses, just an amazing place. Now, a neat thing about today's adventure is that we're not alone today. We do have Soul with us today, and today is gonna be her first camping adventure experience of her life. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to taking more trips with this dog. So it's funny as we navigate this crazy terrain, Soul's just like falling asleep. This girl can't keep her eyes open. Check it out. a quick little pit stop nothing fancy just a quick lunch <laughs> so good Whoa. check out this view though Whoa, don't go in. say hi, hi. <laughs> no, no. we are still in search of the mud caves I think we're pretty close but we definitely had to stop and so is just tripping out how to get her a long leash at PetSmart just because this girl will run off and who knows get lost but we're gonna eat, finish up real quick, and continue on the road.
so for the most part this trail is absolutely simple you can do it with pretty much any vehicle that's four-wheel drive all-wheel drive you don't really need much clearance uh, for the most part it's all scenic views and you do get a couple of areas where it gets a little tight for example right here so we have uh, this big rock and then we have the big cliff or structure so no no biggie no biggie come to papa baby come to papa The funny thing is that it's our first time here and we were headed away from the mud caves, away from the main attractions that we wanted to see, but we ended up in this beautiful sandstone canyon and uh, it's been fun. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, you got a good amount of room on the passenger side. Keep going straight, straight now if you can. Great. You think that's going to be too narrow for me? Passenger, passenger, a little bit. Yeah, you're good. Straighten out. Nice and straight. Yep. 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 There you go, son. Now, the further in we traveled into Sansone Canyon, the more narrow it got. And we did get some pretty fun sections where yep. we thought we weren't going to make it in, but with a tight squeeze and a little bit of tire rubbing, we made it through. Just to think that millions of years ago, this whole entire place was covered in water. I mean, it's just one of those things that. It's hard to process, especially when you see and you look around the structure, the formations that are made only by water and now we're traveling through it. It's absolutely amazing to experience. All right, so after exploring Anza Borrego, by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed those awesome cinematic shots. And uh, yeah, we found another, another area in between Anza Borrego and Ocotillo Wells. This place is absolutely amazing. I know for a fact, once that sun sets, this place is just gonna absolutely just unfold. Another thing that I'm excited about is setting up the new setup. It's my first time camping with it, and I'm sure it's gonna be lots of fun. have definitely changed uh, since I last went out and uh, like I was telling you guys earlier this is my first time taking out uh, the brand new setup and uh, having everything organized is definitely a big plus and uh, why do I keep saying and uh, but uh, yeah everything's organized everything's ready to roll this is probably my favorite part of the day just hanging out, enjoying the views, and the cooking part, man. We have some bomb, bomb food uh, planned for tonight. And you guys are just gonna join us. I wish YouTube had a uh, scent, a uh, little mechanism or something they can send you guys and you guys can smell how good food 
taste that camp. I don't know if the food is just good or we're just hungry from being on the road all day, but it's definitely my favorite time when it comes down to camping. So I know normally I do bring the temple tusk or a cast iron, but today we're gonna, we're gonna switch it up. So I got this small little uh, grill from Northwest, Pacific Northwest. This is not a paid advertisement. I actually got this pre-owned from a good friend of mine and I got it for 30 bucks. I think that's pretty much what they retail online. And believe it or not, today I did bring some charcoal. We're gonna be making some carne tejana, very similar to uh, carne ranchera. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. Let's get this set up and get cooking, baby. So before we get the night, the night started, I want to introduce the people that are with me today. So we have Raymond, that is uh, Jason's father-in-law. Obviously we have Sol, and we have little Miles over here. Hello! <laughs> I'm in one walk right now, they want to see I, uh, yeah, let's, come on. We want to see you throw rocks, but <laughs> hurry up. Come on, walk. Nice. <laughs> hey, nice shirt, dude. Let me see your shirt. Mike new. Turn around. Yeah, dude. Now, a neat thing about my new setup is that potentially it can fit three people. So two up top, one in the bottom, possibly two in the bottom, depending on how big you are. And today we are camping near a very rocky area. And Raymond, which is Jason's father-in-law, was going to try to set up his tent, you know, somewhere along these rocks. And I'm like, dude, you know what? Don't do that. I want you to get the full overland experience and sleep up top in the penthouse. And uh, the crazy part is that I haven't even slept in there. I haven't camped up there yet. But what better way to enjoy my new setup than, you know, by letting somebody sleep up there. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sleeping down below uh, with Sol that way in case as well. If she needs to go out and use the restroom in the middle of the night, you know, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, you know, Raymond won't be sleeping here in the tent and Sol's gonna be bugging him in the middle of the night. But man, I'm absolutely excited to get his full reaction in the morning. Once he sleeps there for a night, wakes up, it's gonna be neat, guys. It's gonna be neat. So before we start cooking, we're gonna have to feed the dog. You hungry? You hungry? Okay, mama. Here we go. So, a neat thing about today, I'm re I really doubt I'm gonna be able to capture it on camera, but we're gonna be expecting a lunar eclipse and to be underneath the stars just hanging out. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty visible, at least to our eyes, but I'm gonna do my best with this wide lens to capture it to the best of my ability, but man. This place is absolutely beautiful. We got the ambiance with the little lights, kind of hanging out by the awning. We got the kitchen all set up. Of course, the rig caddy. And uh, man, I'm extremely blessed to be out of here. Um, my wife is actually due next month and to be able to get out one more time I'm gonna try my best to get out one more time before this, but if this is the last time I get out, it was totally worth it. You know, the three, four hour drive from LA to Anza Borrego, dude, it was totally worth it. This view, the quietness about it, just the great company, guys, is 
This is absolutely amazing. So we have uh, Chef Jason over here. <laughs> what are you making for us, man? Got some mushrooms, got some green beans, got some shrimp. And George is taking care of the meat. So as I cook the meat, guys, check that out. That is probably the brightest I've seen the moon in a long time. Pretty nice. The view though, the clouds, the blur. <laughs> Good times. We got mushrooms, green beans, and some shrimp. <laughs> Look at that. Out of camp, guys. Mmm, thank you. Guys, thank this you mixture, much. you got the shrimp. Oh, you guys see that bug on my nose? <laughs> Mushroom. The green beans. Absolutely amazing. This meal is really good at home, but it's amazing at camp after a long day. And there's meat right here. So most of you guys know, I live in Downey, probably seen the truck, you know, driving around town. There's a carniceria called El Cortez. And this is not a paid advertiser, but they have probably the best meat in town. This stuff is juicy, tender. Let me just melt in your mouth. Camp does not get better than this. So Sol's been a very good girl. On this first camping trip, already sitting down. Give me paw. Paw. Give me paw. You see, paw. Oh. So we got her a beef bone. There you go, buddy. It's gonna be our setup for tonight. So Sol and I are gonna be sleeping back here. And I'm telling you guys right now, there's no better feeling than letting somebody else basically camping for the first time enjoy a brand new setup like that one. I'm sure he's comfy, he's sleeping like a baby, so. We're definitely gonna be sleeping like babies as well. So we're gonna be putting uh, one of the wolf pack lids here to keep the the buddy heater from catching on fire, just like so. Boom! Get this all set up. Here we have you guys. You got that tigre colcha. You know what I'm talking about? Lifesavers. All right guys, so we are inside the canopy. Gotta be quiet because everybody's sleeping. Raymond's sleeping on top. And then Jason is sleeping next door with Miles. And uh, this dog is freaking out. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's been an awesome day. It's been great being able to have great company. We had an awesome meal and to be able to hug up Raymond with literally the penthouse of this whole entire masterpiece 
it's pretty awesome. So we have our buddy heater. We're gonna get this going very soon. Boom. We got sold. There's a little light here from a new pateco. But that's pretty much it guys. We're gonna have to uh, see you guys in the morning. I cannot wait for some altitude coffee in the morning. A pastry, pff, it's gonna be awesome. And the views, <laughs> I cannot wait. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys and what a beautiful morning to wake up to. Extremely quiet. It's a little chilly but the colors of the sunrise, man, absolutely magical, especially out here in the desert. Last night we sat around the fire pit and talked about the good memories from previous trips and the awesome memories that we made on this trip. And uh, it was just an awesome time. And now to wake up to this beautiful sunrise and allow this place to completely unfold before our eyes. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Let me show you guys around. Raymond, how'd you sleep up there, man? This is the best. <laughs> this is beautiful camping. We love it. <laughs> how about the how about the mattress? Was it was oh, it comfortable? The mattress was fantastic. <laughs> I'm asleep, look like a baby. There you go. There you go. I'm so glad you yeah. got to sleep up there. And just like that, it was time to just hang out for a little bit, enjoy a solid cup of coffee, and pack up to get ready for our next destination.